Hello and welcome here to Talk AFCB. And the match is finished. It's finished. Barcelona 1, Apoel Nicosia 0. Now, this is a game which I think, you know, was a game where we could have gone out. We could have really put a few goals on them. We could have given some young players a chances and we did that Luis Enrique was very bold in his team selection selecting the likes of Sergio Samper, uh, Mark Bartra, um, Sergio Roberto, Munir El Haddadi all getting starts in the side and basically it was a performance which was lethargic, slow uh, some of the youngsters took their chances and some of them didn't and I'm going to be going over the performance now because I'm not entirely happy by it and a lot of fans are quite annoyed and quite frustrated by what we've just seen. We've sat through 90 minutes of football where we did dominate. Now that has been the case over many many years now. We've always dominated football matches whether we've won and whether we've lost. So it's not all about possession, it's not all about dominating the game with the ball because the way we played today was slow um, the creativity wasn't good, we didn't move the ball about quick enough, we didn't close down that quickly either, which is quite frustrating, and it was almost like looking back into last season, I do say that with caution, because I know it's young players and I realise that you know we've got the win at the end of the day, but what I'm worried about is the momentum, that's what you get with performances like this, the momentum, the confidence, and I just sent a tweet out a minute ago saying that I feel quite confused by the performance, because I do. I'm not really sure if it's because Applewell completely parked the bus out there. They had 11 men behind the ball at most times. I'm not even sure if they realised there was a goal at the other end of the pitch. You know, they could have gone and scored, um, but they didn't want to. For some reason, teams just come to the camp now and just sit in their own half. Not in their own half, but in their own box. You know, there's 11 players right along the line. I mean, it could have been because of that, but then you look at your own performance, and I think we have to assess that that wasn't good enough. Now, the problem with that is, although we've won now, there is a bit of doubt in our minds. There's a bit of doubt uh, with the crowd there. There were some whistles towards the end of the match, and it's just something that could have been avoided. You know, I think there was young players out there today, and also the more experienced ones could have given a bit more, because at 1-0, I'm looking around, and I'm not really seeing a lot of urgency. I'm not really seeing a lot of desire to go and get another goal, and that's the problem, because I'm... You know, the likes of Sergio Roberto, um, Munir was quite quiet, but the likes of Sergio Roberto, um, Xavi as well, you know, in the midfield, they weren't moving the ball around quick enough. You know, they weren't really up in the tempo. The, the crowd tried to start singing to get us going. That didn't really work either. So I'm just not really sure what it was tonight. But the fact of the matter was, we wasn't good enough out there. The counter-attacks didn't happen because Applewell didn't let them. That was something that wasn't our fault. Every time we tried to hit them on the counter-attack when they did come forward, which wasn't very often, they just chopped us down. I thought some of the challenges were quite horrendous, quite dangerous. I think the referee was quite poor in some ways. He didn't clamp down on the tackles. If as soon as the first bad tackle came in, he'd gone right, yellow card, you would have got a bit more discipline from Applewell. He didn't do that, he let the challenges go, and they did it more and more as the game went on, and luckily we come out with no injuries, we hope. Uh, but certainly going over each individual performance, I thought Ter Stegen was very, very solid. Everything he had to do, he dealt with well. His anticipation was always good, very, very calm. He, he had a nice header when it came. A lot of people saying it was Neuer like, and that was quite true, really. A nice header there. A very last gaff save at the end as well, which, you know, could have been one all. And that's basically what it was. We played that badly. And we, it was only 1-0, and there was no desire there to get another goal. The fact that they went down the other end, towards the end of the game, they attacked for the first time, and it could have been one all. And that's the difference. That's the difference in becoming us um, a formidable side and becoming a good side. We could have lost the game, and we could have lost two points in the blink of an eye because we weren't clinical enough. We had chances. We created a number of chances throughout the game. There was, you know, chances for Messi, for Neymar. You know, there was there was a lot of you know play in and around the box. But I just did feel at times we were overplaying as well. We would get it out wide, then we put it back into the middle, then we go back out wide, and it was just you know the, the Applewell didn't really have to adjust their shape at all. They were just moving a few steps to the right, a few steps to the left, and it wasn't good enough. And I'll be doing some performance analysis videos. After after this one, just to show you exactly what I mean by the fact we wasn't moving the ball quick enough, we weren't doing well enough in the opposition's third, and it just wasn't quite quick enough from us today. I think in terms of the defensive play, Danny Alves actually quite decent today, his, his crossing was actually okay. Um, Gerard Piquet got the goal, uh, it was a phenomenal ball from Lionel Messi, the absolutely brilliant ball in from the free kick, and a good header from Gerard Piquet to, to steer it home, and luckily we did get the goal, because if we hadn't got the goal then for half time, I don't know what would have happened, but uh, Mark Bartra, very, very solid, everything that came his way he dealt with very very calm on the ball 
Adriano, I wasn't that impressed with today. I thought that he was quite slow when he got forward to get back. We got exposed down there a few times. I thought that uh, his final ball in the final third wasn't good enough. Um, I think, you know, Jordi Alba, you can see how important he is to the team. You know, down that left-hand side, the combination play with Neymar is very, very important. We saw it at the weekend against Athletic, how vital Jordi Alba is to our side. Sergi Samba, one of the best players on the pitch. He looked as though he'd been playing for, you know, 50-odd matches in the Champions League. He was outstanding. I thought, you know, the timing on the ball was excellent. His anticipation was really good. If there was a loose ball, he'd come and collect it. Um, and he wasn't he wasn't scared either. He was fearless. You know, when he had the ball, he was one of those ones who was being positive. He was going forward with the ball rather than sideways. You know, he was, wasn't, you know, scared to take on his man or to take it round his man. And he was very, very good. And I was really impressed with Sergi Samba and hope we see a lot more of him as the season goes on same can't be said for Sergio Roberto now before the game it came out we've renewed his contract um, which a lot of fans were quite critical of him saying he wasn't good enough I wanted to give him a chance to prove himself he had a good chance tonight and he didn't take it he was not good enough he did everything, you know, okay, but unfortunately at Barcelona you can't just be okay. You've got to be something a bit special, you've got to do something a bit out of the ordinary, and he didn't do that tonight, and uh, he'll be disappointed with his performance because I think he felt he could have done more because Luis Enrique could have taken him off when he took Xavi off, but he gave him a bit more time, a bit more time to prove himself, and unfortunately Sergio Roberto didn't deliver tonight, but I'm sure they get a few more opportunities before we judge him. Xavi, of course, so nice to see him. You know, we haven't seen much of him this season. It's always nice to see him get out on the pitch. He came off to a, a warm ovation, and that's always great to see. He'll always be a, a legend at the club, and, and he played, you know, well enough. But, of course, he's getting on now. His performance levels aren't always going to be substantially high, as we're come to expect from him. But uh, a decent performance, nonetheless. Neymar and Messi in the first half were outstanding. I thought their combination play was really good. It's coming on really well for those two. You know, the combination's looking good. You know, the the, the chances they created between them. You know, every time Le Messi gets the ball, he looks at Neymar. Every time Neymar gets the ball, he looks at Messi. And it's really good to see. They're taking up different positions on the pitch now, which is nice to see. Because last season, we often saw, you know, there was a ball out wide and Neymar and Messi were sort of taking up the same position. This season, they've adapted to each other's games and they're looking really, really good. Mania was quite quiet. He had a few moments of magic, a few nice turns and a few nice touches, but uh, nothing like what we come to expect from him. But I said earlier on, you know, consistency is not something you always have as a youngster. And, uh, you know, Mania will flash it in and out of games. It's, it's just natural for a young player. And I'm sure that he'll come good, you know, in the next few games we see him. And uh, interesting to see him coming off for Sandro, who came on and did quite well. You know, he's quite positive. He took the ball on in the, in the, in the last third. And he had a shot, which was good to see. Positive play, that's what we like. Rafinha didn't do much. He wasn't given much time since he came on um, and it was just a performance really which which did lack a bit of desire did lack a bit of quickness uh, the pace of the game wasn't good but at the end of the day it's one performance and at the end of the day we have got three points and we have got a clean sheet and we still haven't conceded yet this season which is a really good stat um, but at the same time Luis Enrique will look out there and he'll see the performance and he'll know there's room for improvement but sometimes that's good you know we've seen very early in the season that we can do better that there are things that we can work on when teams choose to sit deep when they choose to park the bus we need to find ways around that we need to find alternatives and I think that's very important with Luis Enrique going into the rest of the season that he can look for alternatives that he can look for different types of players to break down the door and uh, it was very important today that we did get the result but uh, the performance unfortunately wasn't quite there but nevertheless let's be positive let's be enthusiastic and let's carry on that momentum we've got Levante at the weekend and let's get behind Barcelona and get ready for that game as I say I'll have a few more performance analysis videos coming up after this video where I'm going to be showing you some of the play we, we did some of the performances of the players and some of the you know reasons why performance wasn't quite up to scratch today but uh, look out for those coming up and if you are new please make sure you subscribe and those who are subscribed please leave your comments below I'd love to see what you think of this game how did we play what are your thoughts on our performance so thanks for watching as always guys final score Barcelona 1 Apoel Nicosia 0